Hello everyone, my name is Olga and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you a game called Connect. I discovered this game a couple of days ago when I was in a design shop here in Lisbon and I was so surprised because it's created by School of Life. If you don't know them, they have an amazing YouTube channel. They are helping people to bring more fulfillment in their life. It's a very inspiring channel in which you can learn more about relationships with others, with a significant one, with yourself even. And so I definitely recommend. So more particularly, Connect is a game in order to remember why you matter to one another. It's a set of prompts that you can use with a significant other, a friend or a family member, and also for yourself in order to deepen the relationship that you have with yourself. In this game, there are several types of questions. Ones related to appreciation, aspiration, desire, forgiveness and growth. And apart from the ones related to desire, that might be more appropriate with a person with who you share intimate relationships, intimate in the meaning of more like sexual ones. The others can be used with a friend, a family member or yourself. I was thinking that we can take maybe one or two questions in which you can use it as a prompt for your own journaling or even as a prompt to ask a friend or a parent or a significant other. So let's get started. The first question that we might ask is what matters to you when choosing friends? So you can pause here if you want to use it as a prompt in your journaling or you can just continue the video to see what is my response. Feel free to share in the comments below. So, what matters to me when I am choosing friends is having this strong feeling that I am fully accepted, totally free to express my doubt, my quirkiness, my not-so-funny jokes, existential questions. This particular moment when I feel accepted, welcomed, is really a good indicator for me if I want to keep going on the way it is or if maybe this relationship needs more nurturing. Let's take another one. What are the good things that you learn from your mom and from your father? As I know that my mom is my biggest supporter and I think she will watch. Well, hopefully she will watch this video. I just want to use this time to send her the biggest hug. And so, what are the good things that I learned from my mom to love and having the ability to expressing my love towards others? I feel this is a first step for you because it allows yourself also to identify quickly a random act of love because you are able to express them. So you recognize this kind of patterns of love. And so yeah, this is the biggest gift that my mom has gave it to me, is the ability to express my love for others. And as a result, it's my ability to identify and to receive this love back. What are the things, the good things that you learn from your father? From my dad, what I learned is self-respect and more particularly being able to know your value, know your worth, and as a result, not allowing other people to step into your boundaries. This is also, I think, the key for successful and enjoyable relationship with others. 
is this ability to say no when you don't feel comfortable with some behavior and being comfortable into expressing in a gentle in a gentle way what you don't feel comfortable into this kind of patterns or behavior and you tell me what is the most important thing that you learn from your father so here was a little introduction to the game connect please comment below your answer to the different question that i asked or whatever other game you would love to play together thank you so much and see you soon bye i want to share with you a video no not a video Hello everyone! <laughs> Your significant other primi primarily prim You ask your significant other's prompts I am so tired